Use your anger and use your frustrations in your favor. That's the subject I'm going to talk about today and I'm surprised I never spoke clearly about that in this channel ever before because I feel like a big part of my success, let's say like that in poker, comes from that and not only in poker but in my life in general. This video is going to most likely be more personal than usual because a lot of the examples I'm going to use here are examples from my own life but in the end what I'm trying to make you understand here is that every frustration, anger, every energy that even if this energy makes you feel bad you can use that energy and canalize into something good because every energy can be transformed into something good if you know how to deal well with that energy and with your brain and with canalizing the energy on what you want to achieve. The first personal example I'm gonna say here is actually when I was in high school. I suffered a lot of bullying when I was 15 years old, I guess. The reason why I, I, I feel like I took things too seriously and people who bullied me, some of those were my friends. They kept doing that and I remember that I, I was so mad at the time, but when I got mad, Instead of like punching someone or doing something, I decided to focus that energy in being better at them. In soccer at that time, in other sports, I was good at ping pong too, uh, table tennis. Since the beginning of my life, I naturally used the bad things that happened to my life in my favor and I didn't know at that time. Now it's clear to me that this is a big part of why I'm here today talking to you guys this. I hope what I'm saying here to you, maybe you can use that to you, to your life. This is partly how you can be more anti-fragile. I talk about that in my book, in case you didn't read yet, download here. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, this ebook will not be available for free for you anymore. But the price that you're gonna pay for to have the access of this book is ridiculous. I really advise you to get the book and read the book. Hopefully, if you're watching this video one week or two weeks before, after I download it on YouTube, you can have access to the ebook. Link in the description below. The second example I have to say is even more personal. Uh, it comes with the creation of Poker Profit channel. If you never heard my story, there's a video with my story. I'm gonna put it somewhere around here. But summarizing, uh, when COVID happened, I had to come back to Brazil. I only played poker before COVID and I was having great results. And I saw that many poker vloggers were growing a lot. So I wanted to make a poker vlog, so I started studying about it. I had a girlfriend in Brazil at that time and we loved each other a lot, I guess at the time but my life was in united states just as my life still in united states today or at least around the world making content for you when i had to come back to to us i had to leave her in brazil and in the beginning we were saying oh okay let's let's try it and everything but i knew i knew it it wouldn't work you know i knew that and man uh dating distance is not a good idea i don't think I think 99% of the time it's not gonna be a good idea so I feel like for you guys it's not gonna be usually a good idea as well but I remember that in the end like I couldn't give her the support she deserved it and I also couldn't break up so in the end she broke up with me today I see that she what she did was right you know I, I think she she did something I should have done way before but I didn't because I couldn't but she could both thankfully so, and I remember at that time, I was angry, I was mad. And again, I used that anger, I used that frustration, and I created Poker Profit channel like a week after, you know, that uh, first episode from Poker Profit vlog was April 12th. So most likely she break up with me on the beginning of April. And I remember that I just used that energy to just do my project, you know, and grow my project. And today, Poker Profit channel grew well over these last 11 months. I want the best for her. Like, I'm not trying to say, oh, like, I, I don't like her or everything like that. I, I want the best for her. But I, again, used it, that energy in my favor. So you can do it the same because in the poker table, I, there were so many situations that people caused me to be angry. Uh, but instead of exploding with them, no, I canalize that energy to play better, to do better than them, to be better than them. So you can do the same, I believe so. And the third story, which was one of the worst things that happened to my life, was also one of the best things that happened to my life, which is crazy. Uh, when I got to US, uh, 
uh, that story was before my girlfriend's, my ex-girlfriend's story. In the fifth game of my season, I tore my ACL. Uh, here it is, the proof of the crime. I remember when that happened, I thought everything was over and I was sad. I wasn't angry in the beginning, but I got angry when I started seeing that a bunch of people that never congratulate me, never said, oh, nice, what you're doing, going to US and playing soccer. But the same people that wasn't there when I was winning, they all came to talk to me when I lost. It's kind of the same people who bullied me in high school, you know? That made me angry. That made me, made me like, oh, they, they think I'm like a little poor kid. And I'm not, you know, like I'm not the victim here. Nothing in my life will make me feel like a victim. Uh, I know I can deal with anything that can happen to my life. This is partly why I talk so much about being anti-fragile. I really think being anti-fragile is one of my biggest strengths and hopefully you guys can be anti-fragile too by reading my book, by watching this video. And I remember that when all of that happened, I used that anger to be so focused on physical therapy and poker that my results came so way better than before. And I became a way more mature guy, a way more a way stronger person, like I just realized how strong I could be if I wanted. I won't say it was good for my heart and for my brain to experience that because I really, I was really punished by life in a way that made, made me not be so healthy minded in the beginning. Today I am because this channel uh, is so good for me guys, like I'm really happy to be able to help you guys build up in poker, but this channel is so good for my head too, to be able to do something good to the world. Partly why I built this channel comes from this, partly why I built this channel comes from my girlfriend breaking up with me. Uh, so in the end, you can always get a bad thing and if you're wise enough to get that bad thing and transform into a good thing, that's great for you. That's why I'm saying use your energy in your favor, your anger, your frustrations, your hate. I don't think keeping hate to your heart is good, but sometimes we are humans, like we won't be able to control what we're feeling, but try to use that energy in your favor. Don't make this energy destroy you. Uh, use that energy to build up with that. I'm kind of creative today, uh, that's the second video I do today, but I really think someone in the other side of the globe might watch this video and like connect to it and like starting using this because I know that that's a big part of why I'm here because I always try to use whatever bad thing that happened to me in my favor. I don't know where that came from, but because it came naturally, that's why I'm saying that. But there's a book that I highly recommend it. The only problem is that this book is too big. This guy could make the same book in half of the time. That's what I can say about it. But it's the anti-fragile. I summarize it in my ebook that you guys can download it here, depending on when you're watching this video. Check it out in the description. But this book really built my character, let's say like that. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel. We are just getting started guys, like I'm really not in this game to stop it in two years. Like it's really a project of my life and hopefully this project can help you to have better results at poker, to have a better life, to be a better person. And yeah, that's what I have to say. I hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.